You guys went absolutely crazy for this one. Over 2,000 people screenshotted this portfolio where I built a $2 million portfolio from as little as $100,000 investment. That's about a 20X on your money. The equivalent of going from 10 grand to 200 grand or $1,000 to $20,000 over the next crypto market cycle. Now, I'm not gonna take full responsibility for this. I actually took inspiration from my good friend, Coach K. So make sure you check out his channel. I'll leave it in the description. When it comes to swing trading and trading of the like, he is the absolute GOAT and he goes unrecognized by most people. But stay with me here because I'm gonna be showing you the portfolio today, going through a few of the altcoins and why I decided to select them, going through market cycles and how you can actually make money in this cycle and the best time and actually my personal plans to get out i'm going to be giving you evidence and reasons why all in this video and if you stay tuned till the end i'll be releasing a trading view link where you can download the list of all these coins and i'll be sharing the location where you can download all of these and get buy and sell signals or my buy signals on each of these tokens as well and much 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 more if you're new here, my name's Tyro. Over the past four years, I've used my business profits to invest into the crypto markets. I've taken massive risks, got kind of lucky, and made some money. And this channel shows you the true ins and outs that you need to know to make money in the crypto market. So let's take a look at the portfolio. This is the portfolio list for 2023 and 2024 buys. I will be selling these tokens in 2025, however, but this is when we'll be buying 2023 and 2024. Now you can see it's divided into different sections. So first of all, I'm going to go over the different sections and then I'll get into the nitty gritty of each coin. Cause I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you missed Solana or you missed oh, this coin or that coin. I know guys, you know, I can't have everything in there. Even the tokens that you selected, they probably will have a lot of success if they're a large market cap altcoin. And I'll explain that later on, but I just can't select everything. You know, I'll, I'll still probably invest into it. I probably do have it in my bags because right now I'm just taking cash flow and spreading it out and I recommend you guys do the same. But this is just a portfolio that you can follow where you can have confidence that's going to at least do a 20x, okay? So here we can see we've got major coins. We've got as well, we've got a main portfolio, a gaming portfolio as well. And then we've got a DeFi, a DEX, and a high risk coin as well. You know, I put some of my high risk tokens in here. The funny thing is Astro is actually up 50% today. Uh, Stronger is obviously still in the bin and Caster is still in the bin as well. Uh, I love these tokens and they can still do well. You know, for example, Astro, 50% in a day, name me an investment that's getting that, right? None. Okay, so same thing. We've got some narratives broken down here, pre-BTC halving narratives and post-BTC halving narratives. Now we're getting very close to post-BTC and uh, actually, to be honest, I feel like some of these are gonna actually roll into the next one as well. And I'll explain what narratives are later on towards the end of the video as well. So first thing, let's take a look at it. We've got Bitcoin, now BTC, I've decided to allocate 10K and you might see that this runs over past 100K and that's because this key part here is 100K and then this is like bonus for DGENs, right? So take it how you want it. Now personally, I'm investing into this portfolio first and then once the market moves and I'll explain when the cycles, then I spread it over into the altcoins and into the different ones. You know, it's, it's built perfect for different narratives. It's kind of like you build up your portfolio when, when nobody's interested about crypto. And then when everybody's interested, you degen into the degen coins. Okay, so you can see 10K Bitcoin, five to seven X is reasonable from the time that we did this. You know, we did this from the bottom of BTC, which was about 16K. I'll get the exact price later. And a five to seven X from 16K is very, very reasonable over the next basically cycle, which could be three to five years. Then we have Ethereum. Ethereum, seven to 10 X from the bottom. Yes, it can definitely do a seven to 10 X on the bottom. 10K and up. Polkadot, same thing, nine to 15 X, very reasonable. Elrond, Atom, Near Protocol, KDA, NEO, HEX, Phantom. HEX is an interesting one as well. I'll show you guys a chart for that today. Phantom, Algorand, Cardano, Quant, Avalanche, Matic, and Binance Coin, right? This is what you call a pretty balanced portfolio, right? It's not all in Bitcoin. You know a Bitcoin maxi. It's not all in XRP. You see XRP ain't on there. I know you guys hating me on that. No, show let me in the comments. You know, if I'm missing a token, let me know in the comments. I might add it, okay? But you can see, is balanced between high risk coins like HEX, for example, which is up 50% today, you know, low risk coins like 
Bitcoin, for example, but also a lot of mid caps in there. You know, you've got Polkadot, Elrond, Cosmos, Near Protocol. Okay, you've also got Algorand, Cardano, right? Quant, Avat, Matic, right? Tokens that are larger market cap. It's more towards the larger market cap as well than the smaller market cap tokens. And there's a reason for that because this is built for buying pre-BTC halving, i.e. buying now the while nobody cares about crypto and then reaping the rewards when everybody's searching for it online and your mum's ringing you like, oh, have you still got those Bitcoins? I've seen some guy. No, he's, he's made a few mil off Bitcoins. I know I told you to sell them and da, 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 but yeah, I hope you still got them. You know, <laughs> when is that time? This portfolio will be banging, right? And that's the point because what we do is when it's time to take profit, we're not completely exiting. What we'll be doing is we'll be taking profits on these positions and we'll be moving it over into the altcoin bags. Now, in the altcoin bags, we have some very interesting uh, products. We can see we've got SYS, GRT, Link, Anchor, Arweave, World Mobile Token, and Moonbeam. Now, Moonbeam has the potential to do a 20 to 30x, most definitely from the position where it's in. World Mobile Token hasn't seen a bull market yet. It launched basically at the beginning of the bear market. Arweave, high potential as well. Anchor Protocol is one of the last ones left. You know, most of these other like yield type of things, they all burst in, in open flames. So whatever's left will probably rise again. Link, GRT, and SYS. Now again, guys, not all of these need to do well. That's the point of a portfolio. Not everything is going to work. Not everything's going to take off, especially in an altcoin portfolio. 99.99% of them will not be here in five years. The CEOs will run off with the money. The project will run out of funding. They'll, the market might fail, another, I can't even say certain things, but that situation might happen, another war might break out, anything can happen, okay? So what it's about is about being diversified, right? I think it was Einstein or someone like that, right? Don't quote me on this, I'm not a genius, but he said that diversification was one of the seven wonders of the world. And that is the point. The point is, is that the likelihood of one of these popping off and doing a 10, 20x, will outweigh the whole portfolio. So for example, right, you look at the balance here. The balance isn't like a few of the portfolios that you've probably looked at. If you look at your portfolio, it's probably not as balanced as this, right? This is 5K in each of them. Yours is probably 20K in this one because you've seen this influencer say this and it's got something on the roadmap. 30K in this one because, you know, if it does a 10X, you'll make 300 grand. You know, 2K in this one because you're not too sure about it. 1K in that one, 1K in that one, and you run out of money to put it in the rest, right? That's okay, right? If that sounds relatable, that's okay, right? That's what I'm here for. This is balanced, right? The reason is, is because if any of these do well, it will outweigh the whole portfolio. Yeah, you know, you wanna have all your money in a glimmer, which could do amazing things, right? But that is too risky, right? That is having a unbalanced, unhealthy portfolio, and it's basically gambling. If you wanna do that, take your money, go to casino and throw it on roulette. What this is allowing you to do is have your bet spread, meaning that if any of them pop, it pays off. And in theory, it sounds great, but in practical, it's very hard to do and it does require a lot, a lot of discipline, okay? So the next one we're looking at is gaming tokens. Now in gaming, I've decided to select a few. Now, no doubt, by the time gaming season comes, there's gonna be a lot of better games out there, a lot of projects that I've overlooked, that I've continued to build and develop, and will improve so no doubt that gaming as a niche will continue to grow and there'll be some there'll be tons of different opportunities out there i mean there's some private sales out there that are building right now but when they come out for example like Godzilla, it's going to be crazy so there's no doubt that gaming as a niche will grow and there's no doubt that in my portfolio gaming will get crazy you guys seen that i like to spread my bets a lot right 40 different private investments never mind my public portfolio you know sometimes you got to play that game okay and i decided to select a few here simply for the sakes of the whole portfolio okay so i decided to select apecoin gala games before the sue thing happened even um it's tough right now but again that's why it's only 2.5 okay engine sand ronin and reef and you can see this here again is diversified within gaming because again not many of you guys will realize this but within gaming there were different types of gaming projects that you're investing into are you investing into a gaming studio do you know what a gaming studio is questions you have to ask yourself are you investing into an actual game are you investing into game infrastructure 
Okay, these are the things that you have to ask and you need to be diversified within that specific area. Okay, and really take your time to figure out because this is serious. Like this is your money at the end of the day. Right? And if you can't take half an hour to go and find out what you're actually investing into, then you don't deserve to be in this game. Okay, now the next thing is what I like to call right, DeFi season. Right, DeFi season will come again. Right? And in DeFi, I decided to select RSR, FXS, Compound, RV and yield, right? Decent projects, high risk potential. They're down massively right now. And again, it has potential. Right? Decentralized exchanges, they're not necessarily DEX. This is what you buy on a DEX. So Uniswap, for example, PancakeSwap, P and Daffy, two great tokens. They have potential, you know, is it 100% guaranteed? Probably not. The risk to reward on this is massive. And that's why it's such a minute, you know, size of the portfolio. And the highest risk, highest reward part of the portfolio which doesn't mean just select these coins right and think that oh this is high risk high reward and tyro said that it's going to do, 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 do so that means i'll just put my money in that and not listen to the whole point of this video which you're going to see soon so make sure you stay on, on is Casta, astra and stronger okay these are great tokens Casta has a great team great use case it's very similar to XTP right now. They're a banking product and they've got licenses and all these things. They took the time to invest into these things and develop so they can get real working products and real working users. And I like that. Uh, Astra, very good as well. Launched in the bear market, terrible time. Got absolutely dumped on, but has amazing teams and backers. Now, because it has such amazing teams and backers, doesn't mean that it's gonna be guaranteed to do well. But these guys have egos and they do have a portfolio to protect. So it's very likely that they'll at least keep the price decent in a bull market. Right? Because what you don't want is your investor ringing up and when you sell him a new investment and you're like, hey bro, invest into this. And he's like, bro, you told me to put you know, 100K into Astra and it's down 90%. You don't want that, do you, right? What you're gonna happen is they'll probably lift it up and they'll be like, okay, you know, Astra's doing all right. What about this next investment? The guy's like, yeah, cool, great. Takes money out of that, puts it in the next one, okay? That's how it works with these big funds, Coinbase, Binance, and all these other ones, right? Which I've got a different video. That's why you should subscribe to this channel where I'll give you a list of all the biggest tier one funds so you can cross-reference them with these projects. You know which ones are good and which ones are bad. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like, okay? And the final one is obviously Stronger. Now, Stronger paid out a lot of my boys, right? Our ABT, save the day, big old ABT. And when it comes to these things and these MLMs and these high interest things, they are 100% Ponzi scams. Yes, they are. However, they will always come back because one thing about humans is they are just damn right greedy, right? Take it from somebody who has spent the last two years coaching people for free, how to make money online, I did free live calls, free webinars, free blueprints, gave away my free courses, had over 2,000 members in the group. Nobody took action. Nobody cared. Nobody. But if I released a coin and said, you can get 40% yield a month, all you have to do is put money in here, and the first 10 people got paid out, then the next 100 people got paid out, then the next 1,000 people got paid out, then the next 10,000 people came out, everybody would be putting their money into it. And that's okay. That's just human nature, okay? And I believe that stronger with the reputation that it's got before, if it rebrands and solves it, will probably be up there. Most definitely, next cycle, there'll be a different version of stronger. Okay, I think there was these like hamster nodes and all these different things which you could, you know, buy it and then it would mine you this amount of coins and it was like $500 or something. I never brought it, but I know every single person on Snapchat was buying it. It's exactly the same thing, right? It's wise, not necessarily smart, but it's wise to have some sort of exposure like that in my portfolio, that's the way I see it. Uh, let me just have a look, and I can't give you advice. Again, this is my portfolio. It's wise to say that as a whole overall portfolio, when I've got large caps, small caps, gaming tokens, DeFi tokens, I've got, you know, XTP and some other random coins, I've got private sales out there, I've got hundreds of investments. It's wise to have a very minute amount of that portfolio exposed to a wonderful Ponzi, right? because it can pay out, okay? So that's the portfolio. Now I'm gonna go over some narratives so you can understand about when we are moving from one point to the next point. Because obviously we can't just put 200 grand into all these coins right now. Even though it will make money, it's not necessarily gonna make us the most money. Because one thing is investing, 
But every wise investor understands about timing. And that's one thing that you have to understand when it comes to the markets in general, okay? So when it comes to the markets, there are different things. And one of the things is narratives. Now, narratives can always change. However, through history, we've seen different narratives like the meme coins, AI, Chinese tokens, ZK rollups, liquid stakings, BTC ordinals, nodes, DeFi, staking, and yield farming, layer ones, layer twos, Polkadot ecosystem, NFTs, launch pads, and gaming. These narratives can take off at any time. However, historically, we have always seen them lay out with the flow of money. If you understand about money, you understand it has a lot of connotations with water and energy, which means it has to flow. And in the crypto market, usually it flows from large market cap altcoins into lower market cap, mid, -co mid cap coins, then into degens, memes, and then everything gets super high inflated. Everybody gets ego lifts, starts doing crazy things, super high valuations on private sales, and then boom, everything blows up like a ton of bricks. Every single cycle, right? And next cycle, no doubt, it will be no different. And that's okay, right? It's an early market. It's early technology. Yes, it's still early, right? Bitcoin is younger than the iPhone. Right? Bitcoin is younger than a laptop. You're younger than a camera. You're younger than the internet, right? So these things need to grow and build and develop. Just like in the property market, and everybody remembers 2008, right? Junk bonds, right? just like in the startup space, right? In the startup space, this is completely normal. If you look at Shark Tank, most of those amazing products, when you see that great CEO come up on Shark Tank and he goes, oh yeah, I'm helping my kids. Da -da 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 -da. Most of those deals don't go through. That's just for entertainment basis. And when you step into the crypto market, don't think it's no different. This is Shark Tank. You are the investor and you have to remember the narratives when it comes to the crypto space. And again, guys, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like. If you're enjoying this, please let me know because I will continue to do more videos like this. So next, we're going to have a look at the charts. We're going to get into the nitty gritty types of things. So have a drink, kick back, relax. And uh, I'm going to be breaking down things from a more practical base because this is all theory. Uh, but let's have a look at the data. OK, so we're over on trading view. And as you can see here, if you just concentrate, I know, I know sometimes charts can be a little bit confusing, but I will break down this chart for you. And you can also download this chart by clicking the link in the description. You will also get the crypto list of tokens. And I'll also show you some of the best exchanges in the UK where you can get started right now. So I've taken the liberty of breaking down the around about dates. Now, guys, these dates are not exactly specific, right? But this will give you an overall plan. And failing to plan in the crypto market is planning to fail. You will fail, right? Not wishing hope on you or setting any crazy expectations. But I just think logically, if you just jump into something with no plan, do you really think that you'll get the same amount of success that you would have if you actually planned? And if you took, you know, consistent actions on a weekly basis with a plan that you have been following for years, right? I think you'd be more successful if you was the second person, right? Taking a taking a step-by-step -step systematic approach to the markets rather than winging it. Right? It's probably that you, you winged it before and it didn't work out, okay? And that's okay, again, right? But taking it like this and taking a systematic approach will allow you to become successful, okay? So most likely that if you follow this channel for a while, you've seen this before, but I'll just go over it again briefly, right? This is the BTC halving coming up on the March 4th, right? It's gonna be around about March 4th. You can go to, I'm not gonna search it now, but BTC halving calculator or countdown, and it will show you the specific date that is coming around, but it's, it's around March or April, okay? And when that time comes, that tends to be a catalyst for Bitcoin. If we have a look at the last time this happened, right? And I've color coded this for you. You can see that the last time this happened, it was a catalyst for BTC to take off in price, right? If I just readjust the chart, you can really see the difference, okay? We were struggling to break out of this area here, okay? We were struggling to break out of this zone for a long time, but as soon as BTC halving happened, boom, right? We take off, right? Same thing before, again, right? History doesn't repeat, but it damn sure does rhyme, right? Or whatever they say. But as you can see again, if we go to logarithmic again, second BTC halving, July 2016 seems like a long time ago, right? I was only 17 years old, but you can see. Again, BTC halving comes in, we break out, boom, takes off, right? So during these times, right, there are specific times, which has historically been the best times for altcoins and the best times to take profits. 
Then there's been the best times to accumulate, right, which means buy stuff, right? And the best times to buy other stuff, right? And then the best times to sell again, right? But the funny thing is, right? The funny thing is, is that it's actually the opposite for most people, right? You see most people, right? During these times is when they're buying. Right? And I can relate, I've been that guy, right? During the times when the price is up here is when they're buying. And it's okay in the long term, but you spend 2018, 2019, 2020, all in the red. So you have to ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? Well, my friend, historically, the problem was you wasn't buying before BTC halving. You haven't been buying, right, before the halving. Again, let's have a look at the most recent cycle, right? The third halving, right? Stay with me here, guys, because you're going to learn something, okay? So 2019, 2020. The third BTC halving was May 2020, around that date, right? Not exactly specific, okay, guys, but this shows you something. Now, the best time to be buying Bitcoin was this period of time. It was during 2019, when the price of Bitcoin was down at $3,000. Now, it did come back down here again, but we all know why that was, and that wasn't actually supposed to happen. It was probably, you know, I'm not going to say nothing here. You know, you probably figured it out, but... It wasn't supposed to happen. And even then, it still wasn't the same amount of price. And it was only there for a fixed two to three week period of time. That's a one week candle. So that's one week, two weeks and three weeks. So you're telling me everything in your life and everything in your financial life is going to be perfect. And you're going to be sat at that laptop ready to buy during these specific times. No, you're not. Don't lie to yourself. Don't play yourself. Eh? So, however, the price was at this range right, this price range for almost a year, right, now, what's the likelihood that over 168 days that you would be able to at least scrape something together to consistently invest into just Bitcoin, just Bitcoin, very high, right? very high, and then during that time, you'll be able to make profit, after you make profit on the Bitcoin, what can you do with the profits from that, well, you can start accumulating mid-cap coins, right, because historically, right, one year before BTC halving has always been the best time to accumulate mid caps. And by your mid caps, if we go back to the crypto list, you'll see your mid caps are all the bigger tokens, right? The Ethereum, the Polkadot, the, you can even say KDA, the Quant, the Reef, right? All of these tokens, right? the Chainlink, okay? What's flying right now? Chainlink. What time are we in? Mid cap range. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so mid cap. That's the time, right? During this time. It's never been the cheapest time to buy BTC. Historically, okay? Historically, I could be proven wrong. Okay, it could be right one or two, but majority of the time, this is how it is, right? And this is my personal plan. You don't have to take it. This is just what I'm doing and I'm rich. Okay, so take it how you like it, right? <laughs> right, so after the BTC halving, right? Which has obviously been the catalyst to getting things going. Then what happens after here? Well, people have a lot of money and when people have money, they don't tend to have sense and that's okay. But what starts to happen is things start to get a little bit silly and that's where you start to see alt seasons. This is usually where you see people actually getting in, right? Because they see their mates making a bit of money in a group chat. They see their mates making a bit of money online and they're doing their thing and people start going to buy and everyone's getting happy again. Great, it's actually good vibes. I enjoy these times, right? However, right, you've missed out on two years of making money. You've missed out on two years, two whole years, bro, or lady, right? You've missed out on that time, right? Again, it's okay, because you can still get rich during this time. Nobody's saying that you can't, right? But we just want to have the best odds. So during this time has historically been the best time to take profits from the mids and enter into alts and play this DJ game. With a red warning, this used to be really red, but it was hard to read. But this is the big red warning that it's getting time to get out. It's getting time to go home, pack your bags, take your money off the table and get out of the damn casino, right? Seriously, okay? because what happens after this is absolute bloodbath carnage for years where you can lose 78% of your money. That's the reality of the situation. A lot of these guys say, oh, Tyrell's guru, and he just says, no, no, no. Well, now I'm telling you that you can lose every single penny of your money if you do not pay attention to what I'm saying. How's about that one? I make sure you tell the, the, the people that, that Tyrell tells you that you can lose all your money if you do not pay attention. Right? There's two sides to any coin. There's two sides to any story, okay? So, serious stuff out of the, uh, the equation. Right? Where does that bring us now? Right? This brings us now to something very interesting. Right? We are repeating history again. Nothing has changed. Right? Again, nothing has changed to what I've just shown you guys. I don't want to go back through the chart because it's already messed up. But nothing has changed now. Right? During February 2022 to March 2023, 
we have seen the lowest price for Bitcoin. Will that be the lowest price forever? I'd rather not gamble here, guys. I'd rather not gamble and say that with just over 100 days left, and I'll measure that later, that we are going to see another crash of over 50%. Guys, you're going to have to see aliens. Guess what? We've already seen aliens. You're going to have to see a war. Guess what? We've already seen a war. You're going to have to see a recession. Guess what? We're already in a recession. What more can you show me, guys, to show another 50%? You're going to have to see another... Guess what? It's, it's winter. And I don't see the numbers rising, guys. Right? So take a reality check and sort yourself out. Right? The lowest price for Bitcoin is in. Accept it. And you missed it. And that's okay. Right? Hopefully you didn't. Hopefully you didn't. Right? So lowest price for Bitcoin is in. Right? We are now currently exiting the stage of the period for mid caps. There is less than 100 days left to get the best price for mid caps. Does that mean that you won't get an amazing price? Does that mean that you won't make money in the next thing? No, of course not, man. Of course, you, everybody's got a chance, right? But in terms of preparation, okay, if you do have the opportunity, now is the best time for mid caps in the portfolio. Okay, so when we go back to the portfolio and you should be able to download the list, links in the description, okay, and come back to this video. Now is the best time for that, okay? You've got 100 days over three months to take a look at the portfolio and figure out buying them, okay? After that, we're gonna have BTC halving. Now, BTC halving, historical catalyst. What's my price prediction? I don't know. Does it really matter? Not really. What matters is the actions that you take for success, and that's all that matters. Price, we cannot control, but our own actions is the only thing that we can, right? And if you are getting involved and doing the best thing that you can to make money, do so. If you don't know how to make money, I'll show you for free again, link in the description. So, boom, catalyst happens. That will be during March 2024, no exact date again, to 2025, right? During this time period, you'll start to see altcoins rise again. You'll start to see DGENs popping again. The flights to Dubai will continue and the Patron will start flowing, right? And when this time happens, get involved. Get downright dirty. Don't miss a sleep. Work, hustle, grind and do everything you can to become successful. But remember, there's a warning here, a warning here. Get out this time. Get out this time. Take profit into cash flow assets. Do your thing. I can't tell you what to do, right? But I can just, that's my plan, right? My plan is 2025 to 2026. I'm out, baby. I'm gone. I'm packing up the dishes. I'm taking my money off the casino table. And I'll probably go casino anyway with all these amazing, beautiful profits I made from being in this time period here when nobody cares about crypto, right? When nobody, this, nobody cares Right, Google trends are low. Look at YouTubers with 500k subscribers. They're getting 3k views. Everybody wants to know about OFM. Right, Everybody wants to know about the next method. And that's okay. Because you was here watching this video getting involved. You ate profits during the alt season. right, And you took profits during here. Right, So now you know the crypto list. You also know the different tokens and the different narratives. You also know the different time periods of the narratives during BTC Harvin. Right, to Run it back. You have two years before, one year before, one year after, two years after. And what that means is that that allows you to have a plan. Doesn't mean that it's going to work like magic or it's going to work to perfection. And that's okay. But failing to plan is planning to fail. And at least having a strategy in this market cycle is going to give you a light year's advantage over other people because everybody else is just winging it, right? Let's be honest. If these guys are winging it, they all disappeared. They're gonna be back in a few months when everything starts flying, right? So follow that plan how you wanna do it. Check out the link in the description if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this type of knowledge and you want me to go into more depth on the practical, more depth into a specific coin, price analysis, anything guys, I am here to serve. Just let me know. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Tyrell. I'll show you how to make money and invest the profits. Peace.